I'm going to show you how to tie the French grapevine on your new pH whip. Here's what you'll need. Electrical tape finger protection for delicate hands is optional. You'll definitely want some scissors. I'm going to use a small pair of hemostats, but tweezers work well too. And if you make a mistake, fids are great for untying knots. Last but not least, you'll need a lighter to burn and seal the end of the cord when we're done. All right then, let's get started. Untie the knot that came in your grapevine strands for shipping. This is where you'll need your tweezers or a crochet hook or whatever you have handy. You're going to feed the end of the grapevine strands down a few inches into the handle and then use your tool to pull them out through the hole. Then just keep pulling them until you have the thong nestled down into the cup of the handle. This is where you want to make sure that everything's fitting together really tightly. Give both grapevine strands a firm tug to make sure that there will be no way for the thong to move up and down in the handle. It should swivel a little bit when we're done, and that's good, but it shouldn't be able to wiggle up and down. Good? Good. Now bring the grapevine strands over and to the right. Don't smash the thong down into the handle, but do keep it firmly seated in the cup. We're going to form a loop around the handle by feeding the grapevine strands behind the handle. Once you've fed your running end down to the right and around behind your handle, then bring it up and over the handle. Now feed it up through the open loop of paracord that you can see to the right of your handle. The trickiest part now is to neatly tighten that simple little half hitch that you just made. If you want your grapevine to look really nice, you'll want to lay one strand on top of the other as it comes around, instead of side by side. This is especially important for two color grapevines like the one I'm tying. It's a little tricky at first, but trust me, by the time you're finished, you'll be ten times faster at it than you were on your first hitch. Always make sure to check the back. Okay, it's time to pull this hitch tight. First, pull it up and to the right, and then up and slightly to the left. Just on this first one, you should see the hitch move over and kind of into the hole when you pull it up and to the left. Once you're sure that both strands are tightly hitched, gently fold them down and create your next loop for your next hitch. Down, around the back, over the front, and up through the loop. If you are doing a two color grapevine, make sure that your second color is on top of your first color for this loop. Be sure to check the back. You might want to pull each strand separately before you pull them together, just to make sure that they're both equally secure. Pull tight up and to the right, and then give it a tug up and to the left to secure the hitch. These first few hitches need to be especially tight to hold the thong all the way down into the cup while you're cracking. So wrap some kind of tape around any part of your hand that you need to if the paracord feels too rough on your skin. After your third hitch, double check that your thong is still securely down inside the cup. Like I said before, it should be able to swivel, but when you try to gently pull on the thong, it shouldn't pull out of the cup more than a millimeter or two at the most. I'm going to show one more hitch, nice and slow, but hopefully you're getting the idea by now. Just keep adding hitches, pulling tight up into the right, then up into the left, and the grapevine will start spiraling down the handle all on its own. Don't forget to keep checking the back.
double check that your thong is still securely down inside the cup. Like I said before, it should be able to swivel, but when you try to gently pull on the thong, it shouldn't pull out of the cup more than a millimeter or two at the most. When you have tied your French grapevine as far down your handle as you want it, give your last hitch an extra pull tight. Use your scissors and cut the paracord about an eighth of an inch or three millimeters after that hitch. Now bring out your lighter and hold the flame close enough for a few seconds to melt the last couple millimeters. Pat the still hot little ball of melted nylon with the side of your lighter to flatten it to the hitch. Congratulations! You've successfully learned how to tie a beautiful traditional French grapevine to complete your performance hybrid nylon whips. Now it's time to get cracking!